everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I wanted to show everyone who's been talking to me about how much do you need to trade options, how you can take a set risk of money, you choose the risk based on the size of your account, the cash size of your account, and you can trade even with a beginner risk or an intermediate risk or an advanced risk and make money trading. Because a lot of people I think are under the assumption that they need XYZ amount of money or a lot of money in order to trade. Uh, so I want people to see, and I'm gonna be doing more of this in 2022, uh, lower risk numbers, beginner risk numbers, or intermediate, intermediate risk numbers so that people can see. It is about having more winners than losers. That's how you have to be successful and that's how you can make money. So this was the first week of January, uh, January 3rd, 2022, the trains, if you used a beginner risk, which we're gonna go over, what would have been your results? A 67% win ratio and a 238% return on investment. So those are great results, fantastic results. Again, this is using a lower risk amount than an advanced trader risk amount. How do you determine that? What is your experience trading options? What is the size of your cash account? All of those things you have to take into consideration. And of course, it's your decision. And you can ask me what I think as well. You can watch me on Fox Business, Fox News, and many other channels. And if you have questions, you can email me at melissa@thestockswish.com if you're interested in the Gap Options newsletter, or you can call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So everything that I do is based off of my Golden Gap rating system, my Golden Gap strategy. You can make money trading one strategy. In fact, I think it's best to focus on one strategy so you get good at it. One of the reasons that many traders fail and lose money is because they're all over the place and they never really get good at one thing. I've gotten really good at one thing. I figured that out very early on in my trading career, even before I figured out my system, that it was about just focusing on one thing or having even one good trade a day in order to make money. So I pretty much made a career out of it and it works. So this is very good advice. You need to focus on one strategy if you want to be successful. Master it and you can move forward then with success. So let's talk about the trades called in the Gap Options and Newsletter, again, using a beginner risk for this first week of January. So the win ratio was 67%. There were two winners, zero break-evens, one loser, and three trades. So I actually did call four trades during this week, but you wouldn't have been able with a beginner risk to take the trade. Again, I'm going to explain that in a minute. Total amount risk, 3,370 with all of the three trades. Uh, beginner trade profits would have been 8,030 for this week with your risk, again, of the total risk for the week and all the trades, 3,370. Return on investment, 238%, which is fantastic. Fantastic. We've had a great start to the year. So anyways, all of these expired, the options, the newsletters expired on the 7th. So I called the QQQs. This was 1229 that expired the 7th, the puts. Here is the chart, again, just showing you here the 29th. When I called it, got the drop, boom, okay? Again, a put is a short, a short, where we're looking for momentum to the downside. So when I called it here, you can see to the right where the market was around 402, I called it to drop down into the strike. Was a nice one here. So with an average risk, I'm using an average risk of about 1,000. Again, you could take one contract, which would have cost you what? $390, that's it. You still would have made money. So three contracts at 390, risk 1170, sold at 18, would have been a profit of $4,230 with a return on investment of this one particular trade of 362%. That is a nice, nice profit. Specifically looking at the total risk amount. So if you would have risked 1170, you would have made over $4,200 just within that week period. Nice call. The Teslas, I called, okay, this trade though, you would not have been able to do with, an, with it a beginner risk. This is the one I'm gonna show you, would have been zero. You would have done it. This closed here, gapped up, ran up to the target. Again, called the 1150s, called calls in this on Monday the 3rd, none, because the cost was 39. So I'm showing you here, if you're someone that has a certain risk, you need to be within that risk and, and, and it'll mess you up if you're not. I'm telling you right now, you have to pick a risk. Pick a lane and stay in it. It doesn't mean you're going to be in the lane forever. You can increase your risk and eventually risk this much. You can eventually get to the point where you risk 4000 per trade or thereabouts. But if you're starting out, particularly if you're a small account, you have to go by the letter. 
So you would not have done this one. I did call this again. You would have done it. You would have passed on that guy. But then the spy calls. I called, you would have been able to do. Spy was on, called this on the 4th. Okay, so let's go back the 480s. Here, close to your gapped up. This was actually profitable for a short period of time. So theoretically, you could have got out of this with profit, but if you let it try to continue with more momentum, you would have lost in it. Again, risk similar to equal, 1,200. Remember, the other risk was this very close. You do the best you can to get it tight. Zero return on investment, zero profits. As you can see, this was a call. Just want to go back here. The market fell off then the rest of the week. Again, you could have got out of here with some money. I'm just showing you here. If you played it out for the bigger move, you would have lost. So one loser, one winner, and one no trade so far. And then the 580 puts, this was a Netflix called in the fourth. Go here to this day here. Boom, got the drop. Really nice call. Really nice call, the 580s. Again, dropped into it. Cost was $5, so you would have been able to take what? Two, with an average risk of around 1,000, close to that. Sold at 30, beautiful trade. You would have made $5,000 risking $1,000 or 500% uh, return on investment. And again, we're getting moves like this. I mean, I've been on point this year as far as focus, but it's all about the gap. It's all about the gap. Going back to the daily chart. So how do I make the picks? How do I look up? I get up in the morning. I do the pre-work. I'm analyzing it. In the morning, I'm rating the gap, okay? Solid Netflix would fall before it fell. And again, you can see here the time. Well, this one went out in the afternoon, actually. But let me just go back and look at these other times. This was early in the morning, the spy. See, Tesla was early in the morning. Most of them I, I, I do send out early in the morning. So this was actually a little bit late, to be honest with you. So anyways, what would your results have been? Again, you would have made money as a beginner. Actually, let me go back to the first slide here. You would have made 8,030 bucks. This includes the one loser. It includes not doing Tesla, and you would have had to risk a total amount of risk for the total week of 3,370, okay? So this is a solid week. No one said you have to do a million trades every week. I mean, do you see here how it's about quality, quality, quality and focus, and that is how you do it. And that is something else that I think a lot of people just don't understand who are trading. They want to be all over the place. They absolutely overtrade. And I know this, I'm speaking from experience. I personally, when I started trading, overtrade it. I always wanted more, 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 more. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's about quality. Now, if you're interested in signing up to receive the newsletters to your email inbox in live time, the subscription for the Gap Options newsletter is 12 months. It's an annual subscription. It is $6,999 a year. Trades are emailed to you. There is no prerequisites. You can sign up whenever you want. Although, I will say, if you want to receive the earning season's trades, and if you don't want to miss another great week, then you sign up as soon as you can. Sign up now. I mean, there's nothing that makes anyone miss out other than missing the trades. So, I mean, it's kind of interesting because it's like, yeah, I offer this all throughout the year but the fact is you miss out when you sit around and you wait and you don't get the calls and i think a lot of people really are anxious to start trading and many people are trading they just don't know what they're doing and they don't have a good trade idea so you know the newsletter is very successful you can sign up whenever you want this is the normal price and it's on my website all the time however if you want to get this coming week's trains and if you want to start doing well and get going with this nothing's stopping you so you know, the only one stopping you is you, really. And earnings season started today on Friday. So we've had some nice moves in the beginning part of this 2022, and I think this will continue. will continue into the rest of earnings season, hopefully the rest of the year. Now, if you're interested in just a half annual subscription, it's $49.99. Obviously, you save if you sign up for the year. It's a better value. But if you do not have $7,000 and can only afford 5,000 right now, 4,999, then sign up for the six months. This gives you six months of newsletters. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Again, whether you have a small account or a big account, you go by the size of your account with your risk for the number of contracts. The trades are emailed to you. And again, the targets are in the letter. You manage the trades yourself. You can ask me what I think about your risk. You have to have an account set up 
or know how to set up an account if you sign up after the fact and you have to talk to the broker about how to place the trades. We're buying and selling. Buying calls and selling calls and buying puts and selling puts. This is very simple. Options trading, this is not overly complex spreads or anything like that. Because again, I'm looking at the total, total momentum gap movement of whatever I'm doing. So I'm always looking at the gap, I'm rating the gap, that's where I'm making the decisions on. And we do it either, like I said, with the momentum up or the momentum down at any given point in time. Because remember, timing is extremely important in options. I mean, you have to make money within the time of the option before the expiration date ends. So that that's the whole thing about options. And so we're doing it with momentum, which is why you can get trains like that Netflix where you have a 500% return on investment. So if you have questions, you can email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. I hope this was helpful. You can train with a beginner risk. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing to be ashamed of. You should not wait until you have some un, you know, huge, massive account to start. You're missing out. And if you're trading right now and you're not doing well, you're not making enough or you're losing, that's crazy. Get going. Don't miss out on earnings season. You take the money that you have and grow it. You can grow a small account into a larger account. I've seen people do it. I've seen people do it with me. So if you have questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.